the talk of possible strong storms next week. We're reminded that we are entering the peak months when it comes to severe weather in Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. In fact, recently a new study was done regarding tornado statistics, particularly for strong tornadoes. News 2's meteorologist Davis Nolan explains what this means for our part of the country. We all know about the traditional tornado alley from Texas through the Great Plains into South Dakota, Iowa, and Missouri. But over the last 20 years, you may have also heard us talk about the newly named Dixie Alley that includes the southeastern United States and, of course, Tennessee and Kentucky. Now, we only have to look back over the last several years to know that tornadoes have been on the increase in our part of the country. Recently, a company called Captain Experiences, which is actually a fishing guide company, conducted a study using National Weather Service statistics of the number of EF2 or stronger tornadoes over the last two 20-year periods. EF2 tornadoes only account for about 17% of all tornadoes, but they cause the most damage as well as injuries and deaths. And sure enough, when you compare the number of strong tornadoes from the 20-year period of 1984 to 2003 to the 20-year period of 2004 to 2023, southeastern states account for six of the top 10 states that had increases in tornadoes over that period. And notice Kentucky is number five and Tennessee is number eight, with 67 additional tornadoes in Kentucky over that 20-year period and 30 additional strong tornadoes in Tennessee over that period. And notice Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Missouri, as well as Kentucky and also Tennessee. Now, ironically, in Nashville, the metro area from Nashville to Murfreesboro to Franklin actually had a decrease of seven tornadoes from 31 to 24 over that period. But in our part of the country, overall, we've seen a dramatic increase and hence more proof of Dixie Alley. I'm meteorologist Davis Nolan, News 2.